What's up, y'all? It's Mr. Butter. You got CeeLo here. Hey, check it out. We're here today with R2 AT. Also working with Wilco Off-Road. We're going to be installing the ADV Trail Boss Complete, which is a roof rack and bed rack. What are we putting it on? Hey, a 2017 Toyota Tacoma Off-Road. Absolutely. We're going to have the assistance of the built application and 3D animation designed by R2 AT. So let's get started. We're about to get started, and we normally tell you what tools you need, but you're not going to need that with the Build app. It's going to give you an itemized list of what tools that you're going to need to get this ADV rack installed. And when you're installing, y'all, just remember, stay safe. All right, watchers, Wilco Off-Road recommends that you go ahead and protect the top of your roof by putting something on top of it. So that's what we're going to do right now, all right? On to our first real step, guys. We're going to be installing the bedside rail mints, okay? It's as easy as one, two, three. All we need is the clamp plates. We're going to take the bedside rail tabs out. We're going to put the clamp plate in, and then we're going to anchor the bedside rail mints onto those clamp plates. Let's get started. Boom, y'all. Step number two. Check it out. So we've got a good old riser, okay? And then we've got our riser adjustment, okay? We have to first put our riser adjustment screw head towards the bed, okay? Towards the tail end so that we can level out the riser here. Boom. So we can fit our 19 inch screw through it easy and simple. All right guys, next step is gonna be getting the roof rack connected to the riser. Let's get it done. All right, so we ran into a small snag halfway through. As you can see, I'm in different clothes. And it's because this ADV rack is designed for both Gen 2 Tacoma and Gen 3 Tacoma. And when you put it on a Gen 3, there's a few modifications that you have to do. Uh, first off is going to be removing the rear uh, cross member for the bed along with purchasing a deck rail system that's going to attach to your cross members. All right, so just make sure you take note of that, okay? All right, guys, now we're back where we left off. Uh, Shay got pulled aside to go help out a customer, so I have the guys over at R2AT assisting me, all right? All right guys, this is the part where you wanna make sure that you get both your roof rails lined up and you're gonna do that by getting your rear corner braces adjusted. Uh, once you get these bolted in, you adjust these rear corner braces where you got a parallel line up front so you can put that front crossbar on, okay? All right guys, we're gonna get this beautiful fairing installed here and it's got an awesome, awesome laser etched emblem right there. We're gonna get it put in between the roof rail and the crossbar. Let's get it done. All right, y'all, it's Mr. Butter. I'm back from business, so check it out. We need to put these bump stops in, okay? Just in case you're adding extra weight or anything like that on top of this, this is just to kind of help prevent from any damage to your roof. All right, guys, so when we're installing the tire mount, make sure that you leave one bolt undone at the front roof rail so that way you can adjust it and fit this thing in because if you don't do that, this tire mount's not going to go in it. So let's get the rest of the cross members installed. All right, one quick thing, guys. When you are installing these bolts, you want to go from the bottom up, not the top down, because you're going to be really confused when you're trying to figure out why they're not going in from the top. Yeah, trust me, I made that mistake. Okay, guys, we got the angle plug and the low rider. I'm just kidding. Yes. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to add the angle plug inside the low rider here, okay? We're going to bolt our angle plug down. After that, we're going to rest it on the truck and attach it to the riser. Okay, guys, we got another angle plug. We're going to be adding to the high rider, AKA candy cane and a straight plug. So let's go ahead and plug it in. Let's do it. All right, we're getting to the final steps, guys. Next up is the expedition panel. It's gonna go right about here, y'all. All right, guys, for this step, you're gonna take your turnbuckle, tighten it down. You got your jam nuts that you're also gonna tighten down to make sure it locks in place. And what these do is make sure that the weight distribution that you're gonna have towards the front of the rack is being anchored down by these, all right? Pretty much the last step before we anchor everything down and torque it all down, you're gonna put your uh, base onto your rack. It's adjustable, so you're gonna slide it back there like that. Next thing, you're gonna put your anchor into the cross member. Then there's gonna be a washer that goes in between. Boom. Boom. Set it down. Next thing is, you just line up the bolts and push them into the base. Slide right. Then you're gonna have your bottom washer. Put it right in. All you have to do left is just bolt it all down, and then you're done. Whew. Now that we're done with that, we wanna really thank you guys again for watching. Please, please, please subscribe right there. Absolutely, make sure you guys stay tuned for the future build of that truck. We got the Wilco rack on there and we got something special, something a little different than we normally do, all right? So please watch it, stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. We, we out. out.